Hello there, the Shadow Boom here, and here to talk about the sniper rifles and the shotguns in Black Ops 2. If you want to follow along with me talking, then there will be a link in the description to the website where you can follow along and read the stats down with me. But anyway, I know this gameplay is a little campy, but I'm just using stored gameplays on my capture card that I've had for a while before I just start Black Ops 2. And I promise to come out with some better gameplays when that comes out. But anyway, this isn't all about the gameplay right now, this is about Black Ops 2. And we start off with the R870 MCS. This is a pump action shotgun with strong damage and range. This gun, of course like all the shotguns have the same mobility, this gun has really good damage, really good range, and really good accuracy out of the shotguns. I think it's the second best in all of those categories, which is pretty nice. This one looks like the Spaz 12, the last game which I absolutely adored. Probably my favorite gun in Modern Warfare 3. Anyway, we move on to the M1216. Fully auto shotgun with a rechamber every four rounds. So rechamber isn't a reload, it just has to put four more bullets in the chamber. This gun does not have very good range and does not have very good accuracy. It looks a little bit like the AA-12 of the last game. But then of course it's fully automatic so that kind of makes up for it. Then the Sega 12 is the next one. This is deadly at short range. I'm sure people are going to use this as a secondary and with overkill in the riot shield. This one, I don't see how it's so deadly at short range according to its stats, but it's probably going to be more or less like the KSG of the last game. The range and the accuracy aren't all that, but the damage is pretty nice. And then finally, we have the KSG, ladies and gentlemen. This gun has slugs. Yes, slugs in Call of Duty. If you're extremely accurate, this can be an absolute monster. Like I said in a few videos ago, I never miss shots, only fire warning shots. So this gun is going to be an absolute beast for me. This gun has great damage, great accuracy, and pretty good range. Of course, it's only as accurate as you are. This is going to be the first shotgun with slugs ever in Call of Duty. I can't wait to use it. For anyone who's unaware, slugs are like pretty much sniper bullets and shotguns. And instead of firing like eight shots, it just fires one really, really, really powerful bullet. But then we move on to the four sniper rifles. There's four shotguns and now there's four sniper rifles. But we start off with the ballista. So this is the bold action sniper. Deadly from the chest up with faster handling speeds. This gun might be the next L11 or the next MSR if we're talking about the last game. Um, there is another bolt action sniper but we'll get to that in a bit. This one looks pretty good and I'm definitely going to be using it. The next one is the SVU AS. This is a semi-auto assault rifle. High rate of fire with low recoil. You know, this gun... I can see this being like the next overpowered MK14 because there's iron sights as an attachment on snipers now. And if you put iron sights on this with high rate of fire and low recoil, what are you asking? You're asking for mottos to be mottos. Then, anyone who couldn't understand that accent knows modders. Sorry. But anyway, um, yeah, so that's going to be a pretty good one. Then we got the second bold action sniper. These are going to be like the LS or L11 or the MSR, the next game, which is the DSR 50, deadly from the waist up. I'm guessing that's an automatic one hit kill from the, the waist up, then. The other one is only deadly from the chest up, so I'm probably going to be using the DSR 50. Anyway, the final one is the XPR 50, semi auto assault rifle, deadly from chest up with moderate recoil. This one will probably be more of the camping sniper gun. Anyway, the shadow boom here. Make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks. I'm out.